Good morning! I took a shower and now I'm ready to make myself a breakfast and then let's go to work. So I'm on my way to work. I first need to catch a bus. So this is what we have in our office, game room, different seating area, and it's part of the building in which we have office. I like this one, it's very cool. It's more floors and more places to sit in. Here you can buy snacks, price, scan your cord and pay with whips digitally. The, here it's like many events that are happening. Also we can play table tennis and place where you can eat your lunch. Yep, so this is quickly our office or oh, like the building in which we rent office. And I'm done with work. It is 4 p.m. I had a long day yesterday, so I can go today earlier. Usually I take tram from here, but not today. Today I will walk a bit with you to home, and this is where my office is located. But we will go a bit through the centrum of Oslo, and I will show it to you. So it is about to start raining. I hope we still can walk a bit and talk about my work or 
they, <laughs> what I do as a data scientist. Of course, I couldn't record for you the whole my day, how I sit in the office and work, but at my work, I have a couple of different tasks. First of all, of course, I do data science and I use quite a lot of SQL, very complicated SQL. I would say the most complicated in my life. The longest SQL code that I wrote, it was 154 lines. So for you to understand the complexity. This is for those who are interested. So yeah, using SQL heavily and it, for data scientists, you need to be good at SQL. Another one, of course, it is using Python for writing a lot of uh, different algorithms, testing out. And I would say that in most of the cases uh, you will fail and then only sometimes you will succeed. So you need, need to be ready to this, that a part of your work will be getting a lot of ideas, testing them out, reading what other people do maybe. Also, you need to understand very well application field because all of your decisions will be based on how well you understand the application field. So this is what I do. Always ask question what we do, why we do, and then how we can do that. Uh, also, another part is talking to people. Uh, you need to be able to communicate as a data scientist. Usually you collaborate with many different teams in the company. So at least if it's a small company, I don't know about large one. So you need to be good at explaining to people what you're doing or what you need from them and so on. So communication skills need to be also very good. Another one it is, of course, have a knowledge on writing different APIs. So this is what I do. I write a lot of endpoints, APIs, testing, unit testing. All of this is kind of my daily work. The code, quality of the code needs to be good. It's another point, but you can work on it. And of course, actually doing dashboards, it's also a huge part of the work. And yeah, different meetings, plannings, uh, communication. So this is like, oh, also reviewing the code. You're not only writing your own code, you need to review code of your colleagues. And it is actually a huge part of uh, my time. And I think it's so cool because when you see how other people write their code, you can learn a lot of new things and it also helps to understand better what other people do and how to communicate with them. So this is kind of what I do at work as a data scientist. And now let's look at Centrum of Oslo. So this is what it is in June in Norway and I even don't live on the northern part and this evening actually I'm going for a run because yesterday I was working on the YouTube video after my work <laughs> and this time today I'm going for a run. I decided to go get back at running at least three times per week uh, and at least 30 minutes, not that much. And do you want 
to join me for a run this is 21 39 in the evening i'm going for a run in norway yeah this is the reality this is how evening looks like in june because we have white nights and the rain has stopped for some time it could start again so i don't waste this opportunity in between the rains go for a run and i'm thinking which way actually to go because for now this is what i do uh, it's kind of first couple of minutes i'm walking just as a warm up <gasps> and i can show you a rainbow wow, I did, I did, I did. do you see oh look at that that's cool so this is the first time for me actually to run and record myself but since you asked me to show you a life <laughs> a day from a life of a data scientist so yes data scientists also run take care of their health and i'm doing all of the recordings myself so this means if i'm doing all recording myself that I don't have anyone to record me when I run and I'm on the street. Ooh. So I hope that this is okay in quality because I don't use the microphone that I bought a month ago for YouTube. I used my headphones as I did it previously and not many of you liked it. I will be back after runners. It's too hard. See you soon. You see, it's so many of them. Look at this beauty. This is what I love Norway for its nature doesn't matter where you are you are always in the nature oh so i completed my run it is first time since a huge long long break and it is really hard to get back it is really hard to take care of a breathing technique but uh, i'm better i'm getting better and i will be getting better <laughs> and you see it's like 10 pm and this is how it looks <laughs> This is how it looks in Norway, 10 p.m. So during summer, during June. And for those who will be keep following me, you will actually see how 10 p.m. or like 4 p.m. looks during winter. I think it will be interesting to compare to this one. But we are enjoying this weather now. Look at this beauty. Just look at that. This is cool, right? I think you would also go for a run with such nice nature around you. Good night!